You make it lighter by going to the next lighter color on the wheel, which would be your cad orange, which I didn't put out. Or the new gamboge, or both. So that if you have a cad red and you want it warmer or and lighter, go to cad orange, new gamboge. If you want it darker, go to this uh, alizarin. You, you would have kind of watered out Antwerp, then you can go to cerulean, then you can go to cobalt, then you can go to ultramarine, and that will darken the blue. And keep the identity of blue. Keeping it, see, the whole point is you want to keep the identity of the color. I'll start out on an edge. You mean the one at the outer center? Yeah. So, well, maybe I'll start right here. I don't know where to start. So, all right, I'll start at this top dark pink back there. And then I'm going to, and while I'm drawing, see, you, but keep, keep my eye on it. Mm -hmm. While I'm drawing, I can kind of sneak a peek and see where I'm going. I can see this one is coming up here, and it's it's coming down like that. This one here is coming in and going back out. This is coming back. If you keep your hand anchored on the page while you draw, I can come back up here and I'm not too far off. Here are these little, little, little yellow doodads. Here I can see that I'm going to have the center of the red. Keep my hand on the page, come back out to these lighter pinks that are out here. And then to go here and down and now in here, this is coming down and around and up and through, and then I'm... You, contour drawing is feeling like you're caressing the edge of the form. So your eye is looking and your hand is on the paper. So now this one is coming down and it has these little spikes and it's curving. And look, that's not too far off. And then I have to bring that up. Well, it's not perfect. But this is giving something for me, actually that comes down a little bit more, to, to put some paint into. I really think I want, I want to make this one a little bit the bigger. All right. We're going to warm, we're, we want to move warm to, we want to move across that flower, right? So. I think, even though there isn't a great light on it, I think I'll make this the cool, this will probably be the cooler side, even though this is cool too. This will be a darker cool, I guess. And then I'll get warm and then maybe cool again. I'm not sure if that's going to work, but let's just see. So if I start with some permanent rows, and maybe just a teeny bit of what color? Cerulean. 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 Just to kind of neutralize it a touch. So maybe I'll start here. And I, I, even when I'm painting, I've got my hand on the page, and I'm looking at the, looking at it. I'm going to drop a little bit of the pure permanent red into it. It's probably too much. Um, that's probably a little bit too much at an angle, but all right, this will be a little bit lighter. So here I come into these yellows. I'm going to move across and get some of this yellow going. Just pushing some color. But see, now, how you handle your brush is important. Was that new gamboge? Actually, it was. I think, and 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 I think it was a, a little of. I think I had a little of each. Okay. Of I think I had a little of each. Um, but place your brush and push your brush down. You know, don't paint like this. That'll ruin your points, and 
moving across the form gives a sense of the, of the life to it, okay? So I've got a yellow center. So Connie, I'm going for essence, right? Okay. Rather than, <laughs> so I may, um, yeah, I can't think. All right, I'm now, because I've got that yellow there, I think I'm going to go right away into a little bit of cad yellow, maybe, into that permanent rose. And I may make this, I see a tiny bit of a glow. So I may make this just a tiny bit of a warm pink. And I'm going to drop a little more of the pink into it. Oops. And you can just go and drop the, you can just see, you can just drop the pink right into that paint. Um, I push that yellow more than it really is, but I just want to get some color going. Now, that's running because I'm at an angle. If you don't like that, you can push, you know, I could go back to my cab, my um, permanent rose, permanent rose, cerulean, and just drop a tiny bit of wet pure paint into that. Sometimes that'll help stop the running up, although my brush is still kept it too wet. Um, but that's something good to know. If it starts yeah. running, that's good to know. you just go to pure pigment, yeah. pure pigment and push it and it'll absorb it, okay? So, up to the top, now I'm gonna go a little pinker and I'm going to start this, this little guy up here. Um, oh, that's quite delicious. Well, it's because it's pure pigment. And it isn't mixed. So you go to a little bit more of the, um, now this, my, that's too strong. That could get watered out just a tiny bit. Water that out and carry it across. And now I'm going to go over here I'm going to start to maybe, maybe I'll go into cobalt to change the blue a little bit. Or even magenta, I could switch to my magenta pigment. So over here, I, I want to get it a little bit cool. I don't want the yellow. I want to get it cooler to kind of push the color as the flower moves across. And see how you can just kind of, mm -hmm. Create the petal. I'm not coloring in my painting because that's going to get in my way. But I'm going. I'm moving along. Again, it has more blue in it. It does. It's a, and it's richer. It's a, you're right. It's a permanent rose. It's going already into the purple. Um, and then down here for this one, I'm going to cool that just a tiny bit. Well, see, letting some of that run maybe isn't a bad idea. Um, okay, I'm going to use, because I've used some cerulean in the cool, I might as well go and use the cerulean and maybe, yeah, maybe a bit of the aurelian or cerulean and new gamboge make a wonderful kind of a neutral green. Uh, that's probably too neutral. But put a little more blue. And just kind of let, let, them, let them join. So you, I, I even see a tiny bit of a red step, but I guess that's for the other flower. Um, well, just let's just let them join, join there. Um, so, this will need some more definition, but I've got a wash going and I've got something, I think, Beautiful. it's starting to get the essence of it and I think it's going from warm to cool. So yeah. that's my first wash. Then, I'm not going to paint in every single detail or yeah. I, I'd kill it, right? right. So, I go to the, I think I'll strengthen this. And you're These working. are nice and, this is nice. You know, you're working on it when it's still pretty wet. Yeah, I am. What color are you using? I, I, I took the new gamboge and I think I put a little uh, permanent rose in it. Um, 
Now, why isn't that just bleeding all over the place? Why is it not? Yeah, the color that you just put on. It's a little just drier. A little drier. Because, because hot press paper dries a whole lot faster okay. than cold press. You can get going much quicker, which is one of the reasons I love it. Um, I'm going to get this little guy down in here. Um, so let's say I wanted to define these a tiny little bit more. See, that's a problem. Um, I could, I could maybe strengthen them. I can strengthen these with more color, or I can strengthen what's behind it with more color. And maybe I'll do that. Maybe I'll just kind of go behind this and find that that one with negative behind it, mm -hmm. some of this. Um, but see, now that's leaving an edge. So then I need to, I think, go back and put a tiny little bit of blue. And OK. Uh, let's say I want to find a few of these little guys at the top. I might just go right ahead and just, just play with a few little edges. Um, well. And then you can soften that. You can pull a little of it into the, into the shape below it. Um, or you could pull a little away. Um, I don't know. I brought, see, I'm going to do more damage than good at this point. Uh, I could go into the ca um, a little bit of the new gamboge and a little bit of ochre down here and just get a little bit duller underneath. Um, but just play with it. I've done too much. What I want to show you is that when all else fails and you think like, oh, shoot, that doesn't look like two things. Sometimes you can take your pencil while the paint is still wet. <laughs> Sometimes you can take your pencil while the paint is still wet and carry the wet up. Now, see here, this is nice and wet. I can carry that. Actually, pull a little of that paint. And see, you know, you can draw, you can put your pencil into the wet paint, and you can pull the paint. Another thing that's kind of nice is, I love this. These are the wet colored pencils. Yeah, I love I this lavender one. So I could really come right into, the, into here, and without destroying the essence of the flat flower, I could define a couple of those petals with lavender. I can uh, look at that though. That's this is pretty. I ought to go back in here <laughs> and really pull this guy down. Paint upward. Don't do this. Paint along the edge. Vary your stroke. If I started here kind of fat, and look how pretty that is, and then you can go on up thin. So while it's fat, I could kind of define this edge a little bit. But it's beginning to look like a peony. 